The coolest things out there today is cars. Since they've been invented, there have always been fans and collectors who have obsessed over these four-wheeled, sometimes two-wheeled vehicles. And since the first one rolled out of a factory, there's been- Now this thing is packed with a lot of firsts, not the least of which it's the first car to actually wear Audi on its tail. Been a tremendous amount of innovation. There's been so much innovation that when you look at some of these cars, they may not even look like cars. From submarines to cars that work with drones, Today we look at 15 of the most unusual vehicles in the world. Number 15. Wienermobile. In today's world, especially on the western side of it, we're used to seeing cars that kind of all look the same. They're all similar in the way that they have dull colors that don't scream at you when they drive by. It's all about subtlety in the car world today. That's why this next vehicle, called the Wienermobile, is anything but. First off, it's shaped exactly like an Oscar Mayer Wiener. If you're not familiar with what those are, those are hot dogs put out by the Oscar Mayer brand. I've even seen this car because it's so popular in culture. One fun fact about the Wienermobile is that there isn't just one, there are six. So we get it, they're all shaped like massive hot dogs on a bun. But why are they shaped like this? It's all because Oscar Mayer uses these vehicles for advertising, and they've been doing this since the 1950s. What brand makes the Wienermobile? Dodge. More specifically, it's the Dodge chassis that makes these cars run smoothly. Since then, they've also used some Chevrolet models. The people lucky enough to drive these cars are called hot doggers, and you have to be a college senior ready to graduate to be eligible for a position to drive one. But it's not a forever job. Hot doggers only perform their duties for one year, and while they work for Oscar Mayer, they drive around and promote the company. Nowadays, they use a lot of social media to get the word out. Are you looking to be a hot dogger? We think that we'll probably just stick to eating them for now. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Talk about science fiction. In this image, you'll see a floating car. What? A floating car? Could this be the vehicle of the future? Imagine not having to spend money on tires, maybe not even gas. There's not much known about this image. All that's known is that a few car salesmen had gotten a call to go check out a floating car. They weren't allowed to take pictures, but one lucky man was able to snap this shot. From the looks of it, this car could be a game changer when it comes to the car industry. For decades, people have talked about flying cars through the sky. From the picture, it only looks like this one floats, but it looks like we're getting there. Would you drive in a floating car? Where do you think this came from? Leave your comments down below with the hashtag open discussion to let your voice be heard. You wanna know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Lunar Rover Vehicle. This next unusual vehicle is definitely out of this world, literally because this vehicle has been to outer space and other planets. It's the most traveled vehicle on our list. It's called the Lunar Rover, and it dates back to the 1960s. This is when NASA had begun a series of missions to the moon. When it came to the first three missions, the astronauts only explored a few hundred meters around the spacecraft. But then on the last three missions, they used a small electric car. It allowed them to see and do much more than the short visits the first time around. That little vehicle was none other than the Lunar Rover. This vehicle wasn't built by NASA, but it was built by Boeing instead. That's an airplane company that provides most of the aircraft you see in the skies today. Unlike the jumbo jets that they usually build, the little rover was designed only for a short 17 months. And for all three missions, it pretty much worked perfectly. How did they get this car to the moon? It was transported on the bottom of a spacecraft and had to land gently so it didn't break and it was controlled much like a video game. We have to say, this vehicle is a lot more impressive than the Wienermobile. Call us crazy. Number 13. City Car Remember when we were saying that all cars kind of look alike when it comes to the Western world? Even in a lot of countries, cars take on a similar look, but not this next car on our list known as the City Car. It almost looks like the car Mr. Bean used to drive in his show. They were little vehicles that were shaped like boxes on wheels. They didn't even rely on gas, they were battery powered. They were able to fit two passengers inside, and as you can expect, didn't last that long on the market. 
but some consider their rollout as the first foray into the electric car space. A lot of people believe that Elon Musk was the one that pioneered this electric car boom, but it was actually the city car that was produced by Sebring Vanguard back from 1974 to 1982. It may have had a short-lived career, but will forever live on in the hearts of car lovers everywhere. Because no one forgets to pioneer. Number 12. Hot Tub Boat Are you torn between choosing whether you would want to spend the night in a hot tub or whether you would want to spend the night in a boat? That can be quite the dilemma. But why choose when you could have a hot tub boat? That's what you'll get when you go to the fabulous floating hot tubs of London's waterways. They're also known as schooner and they're pretty fun. These boats seek to do is combine the best of boating and relaxation, because who hasn't sat in the hot tub and wanted it to move? This all started up in 2017 when schooner began hitting the waterways by providing heated boats with, of course, water inside. They could allow three people to ride in and the boats would chug along around three miles an hour. The boats have since perfected their models and now allow up to plenty more people to ride inside. One other cool thing is that alcohol is even brewed while you're riding and relaxing. But not if you're the captain. He's got to stay sober. But even without a drunk captain, the floating hot tub is still pretty cool. Number 11. The Mono Racer. It looks like something straight out of a modern day Batman movie. Its futuristic two wheeled vehicle is the EU certified Mono Racer 130E. And it's not only cool looking, but it's also electric all electric. This vehicle isn't a car, it's an electric motorcycle. That's right, those exist. This one specifically was created by a man named Arnold Wagner, who was a pioneer, constructor, and inventor who was sometimes referred to as the father of modern cabin motorcycles. This means that the motorcycle is closed in. It's almost like you're in a car, but you're also on a motorcycle. Forty years into making these vehicles, he created the Mono Racer 130E. It's got a fully electric motor, a sleek appearance, and is expected to attain an EU certification. It's one of the more expensive models because you can't really find this anywhere else. But that's expected. If you have the extra money lying around and you want to feel like the man, you want to check this model out. It's got people talking. Just one look at it and it kind of makes you think that the future is here. Number 10. Floating Air Car if the last vehicle didn't get you excited for the future, then this next floating air car will. This vehicle brings science fiction to life with Yun Chen's autonomous float hover car. After its creation, they were the official winner of a design competition from Renault. It won this award for having an innovative design. Just one look at it and there shouldn't be any shock hearing that. As for whether or not it'll be on the streets anytime soon, we doubt it. It does keep with the futuristic vibe though as it takes autonomous driving to a whole new level. It takes a little bit from Tesla's conceptual hyperloop and it mixes in some elements from the high speed rail in Japan. Now the only way to get this model mainstream would be if the roads that it traveled on could somehow be engineered with magnets in mind. That's why something like this wouldn't work in today's world at the moment. A place like New York City isn't exactly equipped with magnets. But if one day all these cities could change to fit this model car, then you may be able to drive it around. As of right now, it's just one cool, futuristic looking vehicle. Number 9. Amphibious Bus If you've had a hard time keeping up with the vehicles because of their complexity on this list, then you won't have an easy time with the amphibious Rotterdam Splash River Bus. Let's just say it's a lot going on. The fun part about this bus is that the splash tours this bus rolls through are designed to take you through Rotterdam to see some of the most exceptional and beautiful places the city has to offer. It's pretty hard to get past the cool vehicle that you get transported in to do so. Because one minute you're on a bus, and then the next you're on a seaworthy vessel traveling down the river with spectacular views of the city skyline. It's a bus that morphs into a boat, maybe more a submarine, and you get the bang for your buck because the splash tour route has been carefully designed so you're not seeing anything that's not worth seeing. You get the best and most beautiful spots to see in Rotterdam. It almost takes a page out of the magic school bus because this bus is capable of both driving on the road and traveling across the river. It's made from the Volvo chassis along with the Dutch amphibious transport vehicle. As we said, it's a lot going on, but it's sure worth the visit. 
Number 8. The Stout Scarab We've already covered a car that looks like it belongs to Batman. Now let's move on to a car that might belong to James Bond. Okay, so it doesn't belong to that character, but it sure does look like it should. It's the 1936 Stout Scarab. You never tell just by looking at it that it's a minivan. It looks like a mixture of a taxi and a hearse with a little bit of futuristic paint to top it all off. Aside from being cool looking, this vehicle hosts a lot of other innovative features. It was created by a man named William Stout who had quite a career before he even created the car, such as being the editor for the Chicago Tribune's automotive and aviation section. And then he even went on to create the first ever aviation magazine. But back to the car, what sets this aside from others is that it has an engine mounted at the rear and also a very low flat floor. With that, the car includes the use of independent suspension. These little touches set it aside from a lot of other vehicles that were being produced at the time and even today. It's still way lighter than modern cars weighing in at around 3,000 pounds. This is because Stout used a lot of aluminum in the model. But you're probably thinking of these cars not holding up. And that's not the truth, because Stout drove his model for over 250,000 miles. Unfortunately, only nine models were made and only five still exist. We wonder if James Bond owns any of them. Number 7. The Popemobile We've hypothetically mentioned some interesting characters driving some of these vehicles, and now we finally come to one where the person who typically rides in the vehicle is a hugely popular and important figure in history. We're talking about the Pope and the Popemobile. Unlike a lot of vehicles on this list, this one has been around for 200 years. That's an old car. It's not the same one and it's been met with a lot of iterations and improvements over time. Because after all, transporting the Pope is a big deal and you can't just put him in a Volkswagen. Most of the models that have produced the Pope Mobile have been Mercedes Benz. Some of them are even Lamborghinis. But the important part about these vehicles is that they're secure and protective of the Pope. This is especially true after Pope John Paul II was almost assassinated. This is when the cars took on a bulletproof glass and closed box design. And since then, there haven't been any attempts to take the life of the Pope. 200 years ago, this wasn't an actual vehicle rather than a carriage. But the sentiment that the Pope has needed a mobile for about 200 years has always stuck around. Before that, the Pope surprisingly rode horses. We cannot picture that today, but who knows? Maybe the Pope will opt for a horse one day. Call it a throwback. Number 6. Segway Shoes This next vehicle isn't so much a vehicle as it is a means to get around for one person. And it's a futuristic one alright. They're called Segway Shoes and they're exactly what you might think they are. Just like the traditional Segway where you hold on to a steering wheel, these have the same idea but there's no steering wheel to hold on to. It's almost like a futuristic skateboard mixed with a Segway. Pricing at $359, these shoes have a max speed of 12 kilometers which equate to 7.5 miles an hour. They're rubber bumpers at the front of the rear to protect during impact. Because we're pretty sure you'll have some impact here and there. From the looks of it, they're pretty hard to steer. One cool aspect of this Segway Drift W1 is the ambient lights with three flashing modes so you can look even more like you're from the future. They now fall into the category of what's known as e-skates, which are considered stylish, cool, and fun to master. They only weigh in at 7 kilograms, which makes this vehicle a lot more portable than the other ones on the list. But we warn you, you're probably going to need to know how to balance, or you'll be crashing a lot more than you'll be driving. Number 5. Panda Monster Truck There's a growing sentiment among some people that when you've seen one monster truck, you've seen it all. Who doesn't remember those commercials that come on in the middle of Saturday afternoon promoting a monster truck show? And a lot of the times the monster trucks do kind of look alike, but that certainly isn't the case when it comes to the Fiat Panda Monster Truck. Just imagine a regular car is built on top of the bottom of a monster truck. That's what you get with this model. It's the new Fiat Panda 4x4 and it never fails to surprise. What it does specifically is combine the Panda 4x4 with the Jeep CJ7 4200 floor panel. It features road tractor wheels with high speed tires. They're so big that they're 150 centimeters in diameter and 50 centimeters wide. It took a little over two weeks to build the whole thing. 
It wasn't an easy job to connect the steering system, clutch, accelerator, and brakes between the two cars. But it is fully operational and it even stars in its own TV commercial. It's a cool truck, but it seems like people will opt for a more traditional ride around the city. That's just a hunch. Number 4. Rolls-Royce Vision This next one on our list will get people talking. Just one look at it and there's no denying that you'll need a whole lot of money to be behind the wheel of this. It's sleek, futuristic, and ritzy. It's the Rolls-Royce 103 EX and there's nothing like it on the market. Everything from its shape, size, and silhouette, this Rolls-Royce stands out from the rest. First off, it's pretty big. The height and weight are bigger than other models. The wheel covers help with aerodynamics and the model sports thin headlights, a very tall grille, and tall front wheel arches that almost makes this model look like it's catamaran for the road. When you get inside of it, there's a silky lounge chair, real wood, and a hand-woven wool carpet. This car screams luxury, and it doesn't skimp on the technological side either. There's plenty of autonomy in this car as well, so if you have a lot of money sitting around, go check out the new Rolls-Royce. It would most certainly wow your friends. Number 3. Personal Submarine We've all thought about it at one point, having our submarine, because after all, submarines are pretty cool vehicles. But none gets cooler than the Deep Flight Dragon. This vehicle is a fully capable underwater electric submersible. It's a vehicle that would go pretty well with a super yacht and if you want to go skimming the seafloor. It was designed with a simplicity in mind. Great for anyone who just wants to pick up and go. It's got advanced automatic stability software along with multi-axis thrusters that automatically handle most of the work for you. So not only is it a versatile vehicle that can go in the water, but it'll do most of the driving. It's being said that this vehicle is easier to drive than a drone because it's meant to take the stress out of manning a submarine which is pretty impressive in it of itself. And they do this so that the person operating the submarine can enjoy the scenery around them. So what exactly helps this vehicle do all of that? It took a lot of years to get the Deep Flight Dragon to operate this way. This means that the engineer spent a long time creating it. And because of that, the Dragon has a runtime of 8 hours. It sports dual oxygen filters with carbon dioxide scrubbers. There are a lot of technical specs to go on this vehicle, but one thing's for sure, it makes deep sea diving a lot more fun. Number 2. Walking Car Forged wheels and the traditional modes of transportation. This vehicle has legs. It's the walk-in car created by Hyundai. What they're trying to do is look past the four wheels and a combustion engine and create something new and fresh. It's called Elevate and it's an electric car with robotic legs. It kind of looks like something right out of Star Wars. It's been coined the walking car and it doesn't stop short of pushing the boundaries of what we call a vehicle. It's got complex multi-joint legs that are inspired by Grasshopper. Not only does this car get you around, but it can climb steps and lift itself above flowing water. If that's not impressive, it can also jump over gaps. Gone are the days when you have to worry about potholes when this vehicle can just jump right over them. But on a serious note, this vehicle is perfect for people with disabilities. No one has to worry about ramps or stairs because the vehicle would allow them to walk right up to the front door and let their wheelchair roll right in. It may be novelty to have a vehicle with legs, but it also has a solid purpose for existing. Looking cool, it's just an added benefit. In addition to helping people with disabilities, the vehicle could also help with rural exploration construction, and even helping other natural disasters. That makes it sound like a superhero level vehicle. In any case, it'll be interesting to see where this vehicle goes over and how it plays into the daily lives of people in the rest of the world. Number 1. Futuristic Off-Road Vehicle Number 1 on our list once again feels like it belongs to either Batman or James Bond. It doesn't skimp on the cool factor and it kind of takes a little bit from everything on this list so far. It's got size, versatility, and a futuristic look. It's the Audi AI Trail, and it's a concept car dating back to 2019. Great outdoors and rural driving. It combines futuristic design, autonomous driving, and electric mobility, but it emphasizes nature so that you can have no problem driving through the forest. What's cool about this car is that it works with drones. The drones can even form a bright spotlight above them. The car's design is based on a diamond and is made completely of glass. 
It almost is like a helicopter cabin. To so that it can give passengers a panorama view of nature as they're driving through it. Its inventor wanted to make sure the drivers had a better connection to the world, and the drones only act as a spotlight, they act as cameras. This way, when you drive in the middle of the forest at night, you'll still be able to see. If that's not connecting with nature, then we don't know what is. This is a car for anyone who wants to be outdoorsy while having a cool piece of tech to drive in. Whether it's feeling like you're driving a helicopter with wheels, or you're exploring the forest when the sun goes down, it might just be a car worth checking out. It's safe to say that not all cars are built the same. If this list proves anything, it's that innovation is key. Whether you want to take a ride in the Wienermobile or ride in one that looks like a monster truck, there's a car for everyone. Gone are the days where all cars look the same and do the same things. It'll be interesting to see what the next automotive innovation is that will leave us breathless.